this 14th of September. Thanks for joining us on your Wednesday evening. I'm Brian Patrick. Nearly half a year has passed since the U.S. declared the ISIS oppression of Christians in the Middle East genocide. A Catholic congressman from the Midwest proposes creating a Nineveh Plain province in Iraq for persecuted religious minorities. Nebraska Representative Jeff Fortenberry joining us from Capitol Hill tonight. Congressman, explain briefly this Nineveh Plain province concept. Yes, well, uh, Brian, as you and people watching are now all too familiar, uh, ISIS has committed genocide against Christians and Yazidis and other minorities in the northern part of Iraq as well as Syria, and it's an absolute horrifying tragedy. This resolution calls for the development of a new province in Iraq in what's called the Nineveh Plain, an ancient pluralistic area where Christians, Yazidis, Muslims, and others live together uh, and, and showed how a rich tapestry of the Middle East of diversity is actually possible. What the Nineveh Plain Resolution does is it, it affirms what the Iraqi government has actually all, already called for in allowing for a safe area, a right of return to people who had to flee from ISIS in this area. It's particularly important because the Battle of Mosul to the south of there is coming. Once the Iraqi government and coalition forces defeat the barbarians, we're afraid that a new refugee push will occur in the north and it will be almost nearly impossible to get the ancient homeland of Christian and Yazidis and others back. So by doing this, we not only establish a right of return, the principle of pluralism in Iraq, but it creates a safe haven for those who cannot yet return to their home. And this has implications for our own migration policy as well as for Europe's. Do you expect your resolution to pass? Do you have bipartisan support for it? Uh, we have bipartisan support. There's a certain urgency about it because, as I mentioned, we want to try to do this uh, before the Battle of Mosul so that it creates the conditions by which the resecuritization and the revitalization as well as repatriation of people who once claimed this land is made possible. Uh, we have bipartisan support. It's been introduced. Uh, we have a short period of time left before the election season, so we're pushing as hard as we can. Hopefully there are some other pieces of legislation that build upon the genocide resolution that actually will be beneficial to the people who have suffered so grievously at the hands of, of ISIS. So we're pushing. Um, it's being packaged potentially with other pieces of legislation. I, I, we've got a lot of work to do. Jeff Fortenberry, the congressman from Nebraska, we appreciate you being with us. Thank you, Congressman. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Brian.